publicly branded as a blasphemer before being released. He's one of hundreds of activists who have reported to have been abducted in Pakistan over recent years. Rikin Majithia has the story. So this is actually the picture of it was social media posts like this that landed Asim Saeed in trouble. Two years ago, he and his friends created Facebook and Twitter accounts called Mochi. The word means shoe shiner in Urdu, a term the bloggers used to lampoon Pakistani politicians who they thought were subservient to the country's military. The accounts use cartoons and memes to criticize the army's influence on Pakistani society and its perceived support of Islamic militant groups. Last December, Asim was in Lahore for a family wedding. Within a few days, he says he was abducted from outside his home by men in civilian clothes. The moment I was put into the van, I was handcuffed and blindfolded and the feet cuffed as well, and then there was a black cap on my head. And then uh, the guy who picked me up, he came in and he said, do you know why you are picked up? I said, I have no idea. Then they got again physical. And then he said, let's, let's talk about Mochi. I said, yeah, let's talk about Mochi. Then in between, he asked for my mobile phone, passcodes, my Facebook account password, my email address passwords, my Twitter account passwords. Asim says that he and his fellow bloggers were held for 21 days and that he was detained on two sites where he was physically and mentally tortured by a state intelligence agency. I was blindfolded, then first I was tied, my hands were tied like this and I was made to stand up. And then the people started to beat me heavily on my back. So after the second or third day when I was changing during my injury, so I realized that everything is in a shade of blue and purple and black. All, all as, as much I could see it was totally red until I fell down and then they still kept on beating and I have no idea that how long did it continue I was unconscious during the detention Pakistani liberals took to the streets to demand that Asim and his fellow bloggers be released but religious conservatives and TV channels closely aligned with the army also spoke out they publicly accused the bloggers of blasphemy in Pakistan that's a crime that's punishable by death but the accused are often lynched by vigilantes first. Blasphemy is a crime which, where you get justice done on the street. Hardly it makes to the court and the judges who are involved, they postpone the hearing. The lawyers who have been def trying to defend these uh, blasphemers or alleged blasphemous guys, they have been murdered. Did you ever post anything that criticized Islam or the Prophet Muhammad? Not really. We were critical of the army's use of religion to achieve their propaganda, but not against the religion. Mochi was totally uh, non-religious page. It never posted against religion. The Pakistani military hasn't responded to our request for a comment, but has previously denied any involvement in Asim's abduction. Like most of his colleagues, Asim fled Pakistan as soon as he was released. He's now seeking asylum in the UK. He fears the mere association with blasphemy means that he'll never be able to return home. Rick and Majithia, BBC News.